you are watching Kolsky One. Hi, welcome back to Kolsky One. It's the third time I've tried to film this bit. So today we're going to have a quick look at some FPV quadcopters. We bolted on action cameras on the top. So we're going to have a GoPro 8, which is recording this at the minute. We're also going to have the Osmo Action. And we're going to see the footage through the DJI Air units, which are all on these quads. The quads I'm going to fly today are an Asgo 5 HD, a Skystars HD, and the other one is a... I don't know what else I've got with me. I've got another one anyway. There will be three. Up on the screen, you're going to see with the footage, I'll list what they all are. And they're all going to be... in. 4K60 unless I list it separately because I might do one in super view on the GoPro to show you the difference No crazy flying, all gentle flying. I'm not the best FP pilot in the world. I'm pretty damn average So we're just gonna be flying gently around. I just want you to see what it looks like from the camera nothing else That's the whole point of today's video to see what the difference is and could you get away with just having an FPV quad in your fleet and not bother with having a DJI or anything like that Biggest difference is flying at distance in one of these things is really not that easy. You need to have GPS and all the rest of it on your quad or be really, really good. I'm neither. I've got a quad that has the GPS on and I'll probably do a video of that coming up so I can do some range on it and show you. But to me, they're two different animals and I need both. So enjoy what's coming up. Like I say, I'm going to list on the top of the screen what is, which is which, what you're watching, what it's coming from and also I'll show you the footage from the goggles that I'm seeing in each of these flights. Thanks ever so much for watching. You have a fantastic day. And don't forget, like, share and subscribe. So this is the gear we're using today. From left to right, we've got the DJI remote, the DJI goggles. We have got a DC5 HD. We've got a Skystars 456L, I believe. I don't know, I'll double check that. And that's HD. And then we've also got the Nazgul 5 HD, which is quite new out. And my favorite, Flying wise out of them would still be the iFlight DC5 But the Nazgo certainly has the power and everything So these are what we're going to be using I just wanted to tag that on so you can see what we're using And like I say the names will come up in the videos Of which craft is which Thanks ever so much So there's no footage from the air unit from the Nazgul because the Nazgul has a Cadex Vista which doesn't have a memory card storage device built into it so you can only get footage from the goggles unfortunately. That's why there's none on here.
Unfortunately, with the Sky Stars, it didn't actually record the camera on the action. I've already found out when I come home that the Osmo action hadn't recorded the footage. I don't know why that is. I'll have to have a look into that. Um, but as you can see from the other videos, you can see what it what it does look like. And obviously, these are all stock settings on these cameras. That's why I've done the straight out of the box stock settings. Back to I reset the both cameras before I set off, just to give you a general idea what it looks like. But in my opinion. You do need both, but this one's so much more fun to fly.
Thanks for watching to the end of the video and don't forget like, share and subscribe.